This week, we head to Elkhart, Indiana for one of the RV industry's largest outdoor events, simply called the Open House. Here, you'll find literally thousands of RVs that spread out over a couple of miles of Elkhart real estate. And over the next couple of weeks, we'll show you some of these new products at this year's event. Also, we catch up with Greg Gerber, the publisher of RV Daily Report, and talk about his new consumer lifestyle website, Let'sRV.com. Later, Jeff Johnston shows us the new AeroShield and how it can make towing your trailer a little easier and even save fuel. These stories and more on this week's Rolling On TV. Closed and Spanish captioning, where available, is sponsored by Jayco. At Jayco, we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. Okay, when is an RV show not really a show? The answer is when it's the Elkhart Open House. This impromptu outdoor event is where RV dealers migrate in September to look at virtually thousands of new RVs and buy much of the inventory you'll see under dealerships come the new year. Let's start off our coverage with a visit to the Jayco exhibit where Jeff checks out the company's new fifth wheel model called Designer. We're here at the Jayco booth at the Elkhart Open House with Ben Johnson, Director of Product Development for the Jayco Luxury Divisions. Yes, sir. And uh, uh, we're standing in front of your new designer fifth wheel, correct? Yes, and sir. What's, yep. uh, what's new and exciting about it? Well, I'm very excited about the product uh, launch here. The designer is a name that um, a lot of our customers will know about. Uh, we have a long history with it. Uh, the designer is, is meant for full-time. RVers. Okay. Um, it is a uh, our high line, our highest line product now, and a um, couple of things that uh, uh, that uh, separate we feel separate the designer um, and make it a special product, uh, both within our lineup but also in the uh, industry, um, would be um, mainly how it's built. The 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 unit will sit on 8,000 pound axles as a okay, standard feature. Okay, that'll give plenty of payload capacity. Plenty of then. payload capacity mm -hmm. gives the customer plenty of versatility on things that they want to take with them. Also, we'll have 17 and a half inch H-rated tires mm -hmm. um, that can uh, uh, tires that can handle the payload mm -hmm. capacity. Very important, obviously. Um, well, you can't miss this beautiful body. Thank the you. Color, yes, the finish. Yes, That's we're very proud of the paint schemes. We have three different paint schemes. Full body paint is standard. Mm -hmm. um, it is a, a full cut and buff. Uh, very similar to what you might see in a high-end motorhome. Um, so we're very, very happy with how they turned out. We've got three different uh, paint schemes. One is a light color, one is a medium uh, color, and one is a darker color. So we can cover uh, different uh, buyers' tastes very well, oh. we think. Um, uh, used predominantly colors that will match uh, mm. the, the most popular truck vehicle <coughs> colors. Yeah, that's a good um, idea. To yeah. make sure that people that uh, want to match their, their, their fifth wheel with their truck, that uh, we've got them covered as well. Now we, we took a little walk through on the inside and we yeah. saw some pretty interesting things in there. So let's go on in and take a look. Okay, let's do okay. it. Well, this is something else. It looks like a, well, looks like we're inside of a house. Yes. Between the, what is that, an eight foot ceiling? Oh, something like that? more than that. It's a, a little bit over 10 foot ceiling in the wow. main living area. Yep. Wow, so tell us what we're looking at here. This is spectacular. Yeah, this is the obviously the inside of the designer and um, a lot of our focus on the designer um, was uh, for the market segment, the full-time buyer and what, and you just touched on it. Mm -hmm. We wanted to bring uh, the creature comforts of home uh, on the road. For our customers mm -hmm. and so a couple of the things that we've done with that uh, in the kitchen area we've uh, we've used a, uh, a full residential a residential size apron sink mm -hmm. and um, uh, the big thing about this a lot of people that are, are full-time in these RVs they like to do their own dishes we have a dishwasher as well wow. that can help do the dishes for, for small uh, plates and, and uh, bowls and and mugs and whatnot but when you want to wash your pots and pans mm -hmm. you need a real sink right and uh, we feel like this is a real sink. This is a deep residential this, sink. Well, this uh, with a looks, nice looks like faucet. residential hardware yes. too. Yep. Yeah. So gives the gives the uh, the customers the uh, the feeling of home, uh, being able to do dishes properly. And uh, so we're very happy with that we also are using uh, soft closed drawers. 
nice mm. feature, um, nice uh, convenience feature uh, that we have in this product. All and, of our products will and, have a, a, a trash can drawer, but it'll also have a butcher block cutting board above it. Hmm. So neat. Cut up your, uh, your so you can let gravity do the work. Yes, and when you're done, you just slide it over and it'll go into the trash can. Um, and this this woodwork looks like something out of a house. There, yes, is it? yes. We we spend a lot of time um, working on on the actual woodwork in the unit. We, we're using uh, actual hardwood cherry, mm -hmm. and uh, it's not just in the cabinetry, but also in the uh, in the cabinet framing, the slide out fascias, and in the window treatments. Um, that, these are these are items that separate us from a lot of our competitors uh, in the industry. Um, nice high-end features that uh, you might see in a high-end motorhome, diesel pusher type product we've brought down into the towable segment, gives it a nice classy high-end look. Okay, and this is uh, obviously a mid-kitchen and yes. the, the master bedroom is in the back, mm -hmm. which is kind of different on a fifth wheel. Yep. And it looks like you have the living room yep. set up up front. Yep, All this right. is a, the front living room floor plans have become very popular in the mm -hmm. last couple of years in the industry. Uh, they give customers a, a, a separated living space, oftentimes with a really large TV in the front. We use a 58-inch TV mm -hmm. um, with theater seating sitting right across from it so you can lounge back and, and watch a, a football game or a race or, or whatever uh, in the comfort of, a, of a, the feel of an actual living room. Yeah, uh, that's nice. separated from the rest of the coach. Really nice. Um, very popular setup, and it's it's and, one of our floor plans here. In and it looks area. like you have one of the uh, uh, the the pad controls. Yes, or for yes. The... Um, very proud, very excited to to offer the uh, uh, the link pad, the MyRV link pad system in this uh, in the designer series. Uh, we can run all the lights, run all the slide rooms, run all the awnings, check the tanks, uh, start your generator, do pretty much anything. Uh, seated at our couch in this unit mm -hmm. if we want to. This this is tied wow. in with the whole system. We do have a multiplex lighting system. Uh, we can turn on the light in the bedroom while sitting up uh, by the sofa and vice versa. Um, very versatile system, uh, new technology to the industry and we're very excited to have it. But we also realize that not everybody's gonna uh, feel comfortable with the technology so we did yep. we did make sure we have redundant switches as well oh, so see. you can still run all those things that i just mentioned with, yeah but for all the people the that are switches. really really tied into their yeah. electronic devices yes. they can do this if they yes. want and to. this is yeah. an actual tie uh, an actual tablet uh, mm -hmm. so it does tie in with wi-fi mm -hmm. and so you can check your email do all that maybe change your fantasy football team while you're putting your slides in and out and your and, and all that mm -hmm. on this tablet so it's a really neat feature uh, nice. for us very cool well thank you you're welcome. Good looking coach. Appreciate it. Thank you for your time. We'll get back to the open house later, but coming up after the break, we'll meet with Greg Gerber, publisher of RV Daily Report and Let'sRV.com. Simply put, Thetford's AquaCam has outsold all its competitors combined because it's the strongest holding tank deodorant available. It provides the strongest odor control around the clock in all temperatures and conditions. It quickly liquefies waste and tissue and is 100% biodegradable. AquaChem, the industry standard for 50 years. For more information, visit Thetford.com. AquaChem, another great product from Thetford. Never run out of propane again. With Level Check, there's no more guesswork. Just run the gauge over the tank, and when the light turns from red to green, you'll know exactly how much propane you have left. It's that simple. Level Check, another great product from Truma. For more information, visit levelcheck.com. Is it now the perfect time to turn your old pop-up tent trailer from looking like this Looking like this? Treat yourself and your family to a bug-free camping season with a new tent canvas from Canvas Replacements. To learn more or to order a new canvas, visit canvasreplacements.com or call 800-232-2079. At Norcole, we realize that some of your favorite RV destinations are off the grid. And Norcole refrigerators are uniquely designed with that RV experience in mind. We call it Freedom Unplugged. 
To learn more about our Norcol RV refrigerator line or to find a dealer near you, visit our website at norcol.com. Watch for RV Business Magazine's RV of the Year Award Show to see which companies and which RVs contend for this prestigious industry honor. The RV of the Year Show is sponsored by Dicor, at the core of everything you do. Cummins Onan, our energy working for you. Air Excel, reinventing comfort. And Thetford going places. Also as part of this program, Rolling On TV will be presenting a special Truck Camper of the Year Award. The RV of the Year Award Show begins airing Sunday, February 14th and will air the entire week on all our stations and networks. For more information, visit RVBusiness.com or RollingOnTV.com. While at the open house, we managed to catch up with Greg Gerber, the publisher of RV Daily Report in his motorhome, which is also his mobile office. I asked Greg what made him decide to publish RV Daily Report. I started RV Daily Report on April Fool's Day in 2009. I had worked in the industry since 2000 as the editor of RV Trade Digest, but I saw the internet coming back in the early 2000s and tried to move that publishing company into the internet, but they refused. They kept telling me over and over again that we are a magazine publishing company and nobody in your industry has any time to spend on the internet. So I, I tried to work with them and I couldn't, so I left there to start RV Industry News in 2007, right before the recession happened. And so the publishing company that I worked with to do that publication, RV Industry News, they went bankrupt and at that point I lost my job and I said well I'm going to do this on my own and I took it all online and we launched our first newsletter on April 1st of 2009. Was launching on April Fool's Day planned or did it just happen that way? Launching the website and newsletter on April Fool's Day was planned. I figured, you know, this is a, I'm, I'm stepping out on a limb because nobody else in the industry had done this kind of online publication again. So I was taking a big risk and I thought, what a better day to do that than April Fool's Day. I was curious just how big a staff did he have to launch his new website? When I started it, I was the only employee, yes. I, I was my dream and my baby, and I was responsible for collecting all of the news and putting it all together every day on our website and then taking it from there and putting it into a newsletter. So it was round-the-clock news gathering for the first year that I was doing the business, or two. Now, along with the RV Daily Report, Greg has managed to launch a podcast. Now, I was wondering just how that came about. We started podcasts about a year and a half ago. I went to a trade show called the New Media Expo in Las Vegas and everybody asked me what I was doing and I told them that I ran an online publication and we did an online newsletter and everyone said, well, do you have a podcast? And I'm like, a what? And they told me what it was, encouraged me to sit in a couple of the sessions that talked about podcasting. And I thought, this is what I've been looking for. Because the thing missing in the online aspect of RV Daily Report or our consumer site, Let's RV, is the ability to delve into an issue or a story because you get 3,500 words. So in a magazine, that would be like eight or 10 pages of flipping through pages. But when you're online, it just scrolls and scrolls and scrolls and scrolls and nobody really wants to read that much. And by having the podcasts, we could interview people in the industry and have them tell their story their way using their own words where the passion of their uh, business or whatever they're interested in is clearly evident on the audio. And so the podcast that we are doing is 60 minutes in length and we usually put in two episodes or two interviews uh, in each episode. Welcome to podcast episode number 73 of RV Industry News. I'm Greg Gerber, the editor of RV Daily Report, and your host for this episode. As if Greg isn't busy enough, he has also launched an RV lifestyle news website called Let'sRV.com. Why? We were asked years ago to develop a website 
for consumers because every daily report is about the industry. And so earlier this year, again in April, but not on, it was actually in February, we started Let's RV, which is, does the same thing RV Daily Report does. It gathers all of the information we can find that day about the RV lifestyle, whether it's a magazine that's producing an article or a newspaper or a blogger in the RV industry who has posted a new blog or a new video that has been released, a, a new product information that's coming out. We put all of that information of interest to consumers in that publication and send out a daily newsletter as well. With so many things going on, when does he find time for vacation? Or does he? Greg gets a vacation for two weeks a year when we shut down the publications the week between Christmas and the week around New Year's. So two weeks a year we just don't publish anything because most of the RV industry uh, is off. The plants are closed and the supplier organizations are shut down and people are too busy to read the news anyway. So we take advantage of that. Last year I took a cruise at the end of December and then this year I'm going to uh, Arizona again and I just plan to park it and run away into the desert or into the mountains and just chill out for a little bit. So for the latest consumer RV lifestyle news be sure to visit letsrv.com Is it now the perfect time to turn your old pop-up tent trailer from looking like this to looking like this? Treat yourself and your family to a bug-free camping season with a new tent canvas from Canvas Replacements. To learn more or to order a new canvas, visit canvasreplacements.com or call 800-232-2079. At Icon Direct, we make more RV aftermarket products and we have time to list here, like skylights, fender skirts, towing products, and, well, you get the picture. So, the best way to see all our products and most likely find just what you're looking for is to visit our website at icondirect.com or call our friendly customer service department at 888-362-4266. Do you know what that sound is? That's the sound of family fun. At Jayco, we know quality time and carefree go hand in hand. That's why we build our RVs to handle every adventure. Then we back it with an industry leading two year warranty. Visit your local Jayco dealer to start your own generations of family fun. The Truma Aquago Instant Water Heater is the first RV water heater to provide instant, constant, and endless hot water. The Aquago is made by Truma, a world leader in propane appliances for RVs. The Aquago easily replaces most RV water heaters and is the only hybrid water heater with a temperature stabilizer for precise water temperature control. To find an Aquago dealer near you, visit truma.net. Along with motorhomes and trailers, there were a lot of new, nice-looking, full-size truck campers on display. But sometimes what catches your eye is not bigger or fancier, but a smaller, basic, well-thought-out design that's affordable. Continuing our coverage here at the Elkhart Open House, we're looking at an awful lot of new truck camper models, and some of these campers have got some really great features. We're here at the Travel Light booth and uh, looking, taking a look at this particular new model of theirs, but it seems to be missing a really large feature. So we're here with Travel Light President Dustin Johns, who's going to explain to us a little bit about what this is all about. This is a cool looking camper. In addition to the fact that it's missing the cab over, which we haven't seen forever, it, I mean, the, tell me a little bit about what's on the inside. When, what, what was the idea behind this rig? Well, the idea came from customers. Um, continually, I'm getting calls for people calling around, trying to find something that's not so heavy, not so expensive, and just as flexible as possible for their purchase. Um, and ultimately, this is what we come up with. It's called the Razor. And um, all the floor plans in the Razor line do not have a cab over. And there's different levels of amenities. This one here is called the FB for front bed. And the front bed model comes with a full mattress that goes from side to side. It sleeps two adults completely comfortably. 
It also has a two burner stovetop, single bowl sink, fresh water tank, sure flow water pump. You can see right here is your uh, furnace exhaust. Yeah. You have a furnace, mm -hmm. propane, um, everything you need for a camping experience, uh, just in a super light, very uh, affordable price point. Yeah, and it's a whole lot more comfortable than a tent in any case. <laughs> yeah. Now, so what does this one weigh as this it sits? One, this one as a setting weighs 1,125 pounds. And what are the, I understand it's pretty cheap, or I should say pretty inexpensive, <laughs> uh, very affordable. What, yes. what, what's the MSRP on this? The MSRP guy? on this one is 69.95 as, as shown. And um, we have MSRPs on some of the floor plans as low as 54.95. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Well, we wish you luck with the new idea here. It looks I appreciate pretty cool. It. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. Because there's so much to see here at the open house, we'll be continuing our coverage on next week's show. Coming up after the break, Jeff shows us how easy it is to install the Aero Shield and how it affects and improves the aerodynamics of towing your trailer. The Truma Aquago Instant Water Heater is the first RV water heater to provide instant, constant, and endless hot water. The Aquago is made by Truma, a world leader in propane appliances for RVs. The Aquago easily replaces most RV water heaters and is the only hybrid water heater with a temperature stabilizer for precise water temperature control. To find an Aquago dealer near you, visit truma.net. At Jayco, we're a lot more than just an RV manufacturer. We're all about family. And we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. To see our complete product line and find your nearest Jayco dealer, visit us online at Jayco.com or just log on to RollingOnTV.com. At Norco, we realize that some of your favorite RV destinations are off the grid. And Norco refrigerators are uniquely designed with that RV experience in mind. We call it Freedom Unplugged. To learn more about our Norco RV refrigerator line or to find a dealer near you, visit our website at norco.com. Simply put, Thetford's AquaCam has outsold all its competitors combined because it's the strongest holding tank deodorant available. It provides the strongest odor control around the clock in all temperatures and conditions. It quickly liquefies waste and tissue and is 100% biodegradable. AquaCam, the industry standard for 50 years. For more information, visit Thetford.com. AquaCam, another great product from Thetford. If there's one thing most RVs are not known for, it's aerodynamics. I mean, let's face it. When you tow a trailer, whether it's a fifth wheel or a travel trailer, you're pulling a brick down the road. And that flat front profile, even if it's angled a little bit, represents an awful lot of wind drag. Well, if you can reduce that wind drag even by a little bit, chances are you can save some fuel costs down the road. And that's something we'd all like. There's a new partial solution available to that wind drag problem from Icon Direct, and it's called the Aero Shield. Well, wind deflectors have been available for vehicles for a long time, and Icon Direct's version here is a little bit simpler and a little bit easier to use. It's made out of heavy-duty plastic. It's available in black or white, or you can paint it to match your vehicle. And best of all, it's designed to mount without any drilling or welding or other fastening on your vehicle. The attachment equipment includes suction cups to help position it on the roof, and then you have straps with hooks designed specifically for the rain gutter or door edge attachments on the vehicle. Installing it is fairly quick and easy. And this is highly adjustable as well. The unit's mounting base can be adjusted for angle to fit your truck or SUV as needed and the height of your trailer and so on by tightening down these little knobs on the ends here. And the mounting points, is a variety of holes here, so you can select the mounting point that's going to best fit your vehicle. And once it's installed, and you have the angle adjusted to help direct the air up and over your trailer, it helps to smooth the vehicle's progress through the air and maybe saves you a little bit of fuel. So let's take a look at how it goes on installing it. Okay, we've got our air shield set up. We have 
adjusted the spacing on the suction cups to match the ribs on the roof of the Dakota here. So uh, all that's left now is to throw it up in place. What do you think? I don't think it'll work. Okay, let's give it a try. I got it set up so it'll just about, the suction cup should fit between that, that last rib on the sides. Uh, Look pretty close. Pretty close. All right, we've got this pretty well positioned that looks like it's level side to side and it's about the same distance. So let's go ahead and lift it up. Gives access to the mounting holes. There are four straps that come with the kit along with four different types of brackets to fit whatever brand of truck you happen to use. We found one that looks like it'll fit this Dodge pretty well. So go ahead and start on those straps there. Okay. Slide the strap through here. Doesn't have to be terribly snug. We're not going to be running on the salt flats with this guy. You don't really need it, but you fit the strap through the back of the hook here to make sure. And once again, snug it down tight. Pull the strap up. And if you want, you can cut the extra strap off or just tie it up here in a bundle in order to avoid having it bang around, damage your vehicle. A couple of clips hold everything in place. Straps, no drilling, very handy. Kind of a slick way they came up with to mount this guy. Well, we got the suction cup mount secured. The straps, it's all uh, not gonna go anywhere. All that remains now is to adjust it to fit the angle of the trailer. Ideally, the angle of the aero shield should be such that it points kind of at the top of the trailer and that helps to create the best smooth airflow. So let's go ahead and lower this down a little bit. Okay. And we'll just, okay, that ought to be good. Well, that should give us a pretty good angle, I think. Well, we look forward to hearing your results, Gary. See if this helps any. I think it will. Thank yeah. You. Well, it's the Aero Shield from IconDirect.com. It's a good piece of equipment. It may be the best little economical, fuel efficient device you'll add to your vehicle in a long time. For more information, check out our website at RollingOnTV.com. We hope you enjoyed this week's show. And for more information on anything you've seen on the show, along with additional videos and stories, visit our website at RollingOnTV.com. And don't forget to visit our store where you'll find some of the great products featured on our show. As usual, this has been another fun production. For the latest up-to-the-minute RV news, visit our media partners, rvbusiness.com.